Hey YouTube, this is Grim. I am one of the members of the Twerk team, or as we go on Facebook, Twerk Time 56. Follow us, share us, whatever you gotta do. Anyways, today I thought maybe we could discuss homophobes. The most disgusting group of people on the face of the earth. Well, <clears throat> well, let's start with the base, the general fact that a lot of homophobes, and I hate to say it, because I have nothing against any religion, a lot of homophobes come from Christianity. And I think the biggest problem behind that would be that, well, first off, homosexuals go to hell, okay? Now, this is the part that kind of fucks up that logic. Is it not a theory in, behind Christianity where everyone is created in God's image? So if everybody is created in God's image, yet certain people have to go to hell because of the way they are, don't you think maybe there's a little flaw in there? Maybe, just maybe... And I'm not saying this is all Christians, because, well, I know a lot of good Christians. Personally, I'm agnostic. I don't know if there is or isn't a God. But, <clears throat> let's just say, for all intents and purposes, God can create these people. Now, you really want to be the one who has to say, well, I was questioning your logic because? No. No, I don't think you do. On the other hand, if you're an atheist, like some people I know, well, then you have nothing to worry about. Because if you don't believe in a god, pretty sure you're not even going to get into heaven or hell. I think there's like a different field for you. I don't know. Basically, if, if he created somebody, or she created somebody, I don't know what gender god is supposed to be. If God created homosexuals, all right? What makes them so different from you and I that gives you the right to treat them like garbage? I can name on a hand, on a hand right now, five of, five, six of my closest friends on two hands, sorry. And <clears throat> say about, I don't know, out of six, what would that be like? Oh, I don't, I don't, I'm not even getting in percentages. I have maybe one straight friend on that entire hand. Everybody else is either bi or gay. And I have nothing against them for that. That is, there are much more important things in life to worry about than how somebody else acts. Who they love is their business. If you can't appreciate the fact that they found love, it's probably because you haven't and you're a sour, bitter person. Sorry, the camera quality sucks, but there's not much I can do about that. It was a 700 and something dollar computer. I haven't, I don't have enough money to afford the camera. So, basically, if they manage to find love, genitalia does not matter. Okay, I just want to put that out there. You should be looking for personality. I'm straight. I will never be infatuated with a dude. It's not happening. The closest you're going to get to that with me is how much I love my friends. That's about it. <clears throat> but, on the other hand, who somebody loves, it's not a disease. There is no trait for homosexuality. It's not like that. You're either born that way or you're not. And the ones that are born that way, you're just jealous. You're just jealous of the ones that are born homosexuals because they can dance better than you. And dress better than you. And let's face it, any gay guy, should he decide to turn straight, can have any girl he wants. Even if she's... Basically, God kind of put them here and went, hey, guess what? Ha ha. They're better than you. And it's not so much that they're better than you. They're not asking for you to put their rights ahead of yours. 
They just want to be treated as equals. Now, homophobes are the biggest problem here because if somebody wants to be treated equally, I'm going to compare this, and this may seem a little off, I'm going to compare this to segregation. Because when black people, pardon my French, I don't mean to come off as offensive or racist, not at all, but when black people first started to schools, who opposed them the strongest? White people. Do you know why? I hope so. Otherwise, the school isn't doing a very good job educating you. It's because white people thought of themselves as superior. And nowadays, it's a lot better. There's, there's almost no racism. Not, not heavy as, not as close to heavy as it used to be. No, not even close. There's no lynching. There's no shooting. There are no burning of houses. No bombing of houses. Nothing like that anymore. Not so much, anyways. Not that I can think of. So, I mean, just because somebody's straight, they're allowed to marry. That's how it works. In order to get married, two things have to happen. First, you have to, well, you have to go and set up a marriage. I don't fucking know. You have to go and attempt to find somebody who you would be willing to marry, whether it's for financial purposes, you actually love them on the off chance that it's going to work out, you know, what, like, 50% chance, half of them don't make it, like ducks when they hatch back to the water, yeah, pretty much, but, um, the second thing being, you have to be allowed to marry, and with a bunch of homophobes running, I don't know, the biggest companies, homophobes and the giant Christian community being the behemoth that it is. Nothing against Christians. Again, I'm, I come from a Christian family. I'm not myself Christian. I'm agnostic, as previously stated. But who somebody loves is their business. What happens behind closed doors or what happens in their bedroom, again, their business. Like we're on camera up in that shit. Their place. So, you know... There's no reason to hate. There's no reason for it. I mean, call me what you will. I don't really care. It doesn't bother me in the least because let's think about this. personality. That's an important trait. Respect, another important trait. Loyalty, yet another important trait. Now, on the other hand, race, not an important trait. Gender, not an important trait. And above all else, above all else, judgmentality. If you've got a judgmental friend, I want you to walk up to them and very sincerely say, fuck you. And then I want you to punch them in the face. And then I want you to apologize and tell them it was for me because I didn't do it myself. But I would actually go punch him in the face. It was a joke. But anyways, do you see what I'm saying? Even if somebody, let's say one guy, he's fed up with women because he thinks they're bitches. Or let's say he just wants to try something new. Or, the more popular or more common one, let's just say this guy is generally interested in men above women. What makes him so much different? He can still act like any other guy. He can go out and drink at the bar with his friends. He can throw a football. He can have children. They have sperm banks. He could probably find somebody who would be willing to hold his child. Especially since he's gay. Do you know how many chicks would go for a gay guy, hence the term gay guy. You're straight, and you're cool and all, but I'm waiting for this gay guy, so I'd rather just wait for the rest of my lifetime. Basically, that's what they're saying. Now, I'm no expert on women. In fact, quite the opposite. I'm a nerd. What do I know, right? Psh, fuck this guy. 
No. But what it comes down to is, do they have a good personality? Are they loyal? Do they in your life to do something stupid that you would regret for the rest of your life? I highly, highly, highly doubt it. It's not like they're venomous or anything. If anything, they can give back to the community more than a straight person can because they're willing to work harder for it, and they're definitely willing to work harder for equality. So, it's up to you guys. Do you want to act immature and judge people based on how they act or who they are? Or, can we all just get past this and look for a better world? Grim Interest, signing off.